well, do you... <laughs> good evening, Pisces. My candle just went out. As soon as I hit record, the flame went out. Maybe, a, maybe the flame went out on love. All right, we have to. We still roll, right? With, with or without a candle. That is so weird. All right, my Pisceans. It is Wednesday night, and I wanted to do your reading instead of tomorrow. I felt the need to do it. I, let's find out why, though. Okay, I am doing bonus reads on the weekend again. Top three viewed high signs. You guys are pretty much consistently one of them, so I'm sure you know how it works. I mean, as long as they're being well received, I'll keep doing them. I um, also, yeah, if, if you like what I'm doing, um, yeah, please feel free to like and subscribe. I just really appreciate the hell out of you guys. I say it all the time. When I started this channel 10, month, 10 months ago, I, there was, two, there was two subscribers. It was my daughter and I, and I was tickled pink. I really was. I got so excited with like one, two, three views. So I am kind of blown away. Um, I just really do appreciate the hell out of you guys. And I am using Tarot of the Abyss. People ask, I forget to mention, I'm trying to be more um, present and remembering these decks for you guys. Tarot of the Abyss is the main deck. Um, what was it? New, um, nouveau Art, Art. I, it just went out of my head like that. It's um, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot is the clarifying deck. All right. And we have Hierophant Reverse, the wise one in this deck, um, on the bottom of the main. And we have Fool Upright well, for clarifying. Now that I got that TED Talk out of the way, let's go, Pisces. That was a long intro. General energy for my Pisceans. What messages need to come out? General energy for my Pisceans. What is... What are the collective messages that need to come out for the Pisceans? For my Knight of Cups. What are the me messages that need to come out? All right. General energy for Pisces. General energy for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces. What messages need to come out? What is it? It Look at it. It's the wise one. This was at the bottom of the deck, but it was reverse. Maybe you're wiser for a situation, which is basically the Hierophant Upright. Um, yeah, something coming together. But I actually feel like a higher, maybe some of you are going back to school or, or learning something new. It could be that. But just maybe people are coming to you for knowledge. You could actually be, I mean, it definitely could be that. Let's see, what's influencing it? What's influencing it? I just feel like you're just wiser for a situation of happening. You're wiser now than you were before uh, over something that just happened. What's influencing the higher fence? What's influencing the higher fence? It is the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. That is a popular card today. Previously being stuck, and maybe it's this aha moment. That is where the full energy happens. It's It's really taking a look at yourself in a situation, maybe the other person's situation and be like, why am I stuck here? Why am I holding on to someone or something? When clearly, you know what, if somebody wants to go hold the door for them and don't try to hold on for to somebody who is bent on hell, always trying to get away. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Pisces? What is it? What's the reason for the reading? It is the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. So some of you, if this is a job, maybe maybe you have a promotion on the horizon, like really soon, or going for the higher position of work, or starting your own thing, you know, your own business. Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is, the, I feel like there is an uptick in your money coming, or there is right now, because this is where your focus is. And you know, we're... we're um, where your focus goes, your energy flows. And I just think it's about your own stability, your own personal happiness. Whatever this Wheel of Fortune reverse was that was influencing it, you're just done with it. You're done with staying in situations that have a, you know, they're way past the expiration date. What's in the past? That's too many. What's in the past for my Pisceans? What's in the past for my Pisceans? What is it? <clears throat> the sun, happiness, Pisces. Wow, look at that. The sun, Leo energy. Give me, what's on your mind? What is on Pisces mind? What is on Pisces mind? It is the hermit reverse. No longer hiding yourself. 
Again, the hermit is very, very wise. So when the hermit reverse happens, it's now you're re-emerging with society with the information that you have found out while you were away. And I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune reverse, maybe you have been disconnected for a period of your life from yourself, dealing with energies that just are persistent that that and you you just kind of have left it behind but the sun it's interesting because we have the sun in the past we have the hierophant in the present but we have a wheel of fortune in between this is the card that doesn't fit everything else is really really great so why is it a wheel of fortune reverse unless that's somebody holding on to you let's see. this is very intriguing because everything else this is a pisces really focused on their future their goals their money their own happiness see and the sun that's interesting we have a sun in the past that means whatever this was for you is off the board but it's here in the present so it's probably not your energy okay what is in the near future for my pisceans What's in the near future for Pisces? What's in the near future for Pisces? It's two of Pentacles. You got your second hand moving. That's how I always call the two of Pentacles. Your balance back. Your Stella got her groove back. The two of Pentacles never stops in your life. It shouldn't stop in your life. You can be Elon Musk and be a quadrillionaire. Quadrillionaire? I don't even know what he is anymore. I don't even know if there's a number high enough. But you can be that, but your your second hand still needs to move because it's not about the money, it's about living a purposeful life. And that's whatever this is, whatever your purpose is, this is what you're uncovering right now. This is what you're going for. Your second hand is moving and you never want it to stop. This is where the source of your energy is. This is the source of your happiness. And this hermit, I keep looking, I the hermit reverse, look at that, she's holding a snake. Maybe, what did I say? that you've come to a higher knowledge, maybe whatever this Wheel of Fortune reverse is that you were holding on to was a snake. But why is the snake in your reading is the question. Page of Cups and Justice Reverse. They feel like they got screwed over and they just want to talk to you. But Pisces is being in their energy, pulling themselves back from this situation at least because it's a Four of Wands reverse going on in here. And this kind of, she's kind of a creepy looking uh, kid, but it looks like somebody could have forgotten somebody's birthday or could have been around your birthday although your birthday's coming up and the three of wands this person's like pisces are you coming back i've been waiting for 360 days when is my pisces coming back well pisces isn't the chariots i mean you're gone you flew the coop this person's still on the shore waiting for you okay let's clarify this pisces what the hell's going on what the hell's going on here we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse influencing the higher fit. So you know what this reminds me of? Let's just say you had two cards in your entire reading. If I saw only the higher fit upright and the Wheel of Fortune reverse influence the higher fit, it looks like somebody could be watching you, somebody from the past, and they see how good you're doing right now, how good you're looking, you're living the life that maybe you two talked about living. Why it didn't happen, I don't know. It's not even on my table. That's how old this is. But I can tell you that since the breakup, you got your groom back. You got the fire going again, right? You probably did some analyzing and healing and realized, you know what? I was stuck holding on to a snake and I thought it was an ace of wands this entire time. No wonder it never progressed. This person was so underhanded. And you have your balance back. So why the heck do we have a wheel of fortune reversed in the center of the reading? It can't be you. It can't be you. And maybe this person wants to grow with you. But you know, this might not be everybody's story here, but let me just say, and this is where it irritates me. If you were good enough for this person when you were up and coming, if, if you were looking for a job or you didn't have very much and you weren't good enough for them, good enough for them then, why are you good enough for them now? I don't like that. Why now do they want to share this Ten of Pentacles with you? Is it because you have something to give them? Because I don't feel like they're probably any different. Is it because you have your balance back? You have a house? You have something that they they deem that they could, you know, share with you? Well, why couldn't they share it with you before? What, what's the difference? What happened? What was, what's missing here? You know, it doesn't add up. I don't like that. I really don't. 
What is this? The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse for my Pisceans. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. What is that? The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse for Pisces. It's the Ten of Cups reverse. This is what you learned, that you were holding on to a snake that, I mean, you thought you could build the Ten of Pentacles and this person ends your card. And I feel like, you you know what? And I, I don't know if this came up in your reading before, but I just don't even feel like you felt like you liked yourself with this person. And that was a big reason why you left. You didn't like who you became with this person. You didn't like when you were around them if you were always wondering what they're doing, if you were jealous, if you were angry, you wanted to let that go. And I think that's why you pulled yourself back. You didn't like that you were upside down. I think you're typically a happy person, you know, and you're like, when is it going to be my rainbow? I've, I've endured years of a storm with this person or months with a storm, but the rainbow never came. Yeah. And let's see, why is it? Why, why is it? Why didn't it work out? Why didn't it work out? Why didn't it work out? Oh, there you go. King of Swords reverse. <laughs> it's an asshole. Sorry. Sorry, Aquarius. I have to say that every time. Sorry, Aquarius. It's your card, but seriously. Uh, King of Swords reverse is your asshole card. It really is. It's somebody who knows everything. It's somebody who, who's very, very stubborn. And they're very obligerent and when they don't get their way they're they're short-tempered they're emotionally they're erratic with their emotions and yeah when it's like when mama or daddy's not happy nobody's happy kind of energy and honestly this king of swords reverse pisces this is a person who needs therapy who doesn't get therapy so therefore everybody around them is in therapy do, do you catch my drift so this you can't build a ten of cups with an energy like this because they don't see they have the problem you have the problem everybody has the problem everybody has to be in a lifetime of therapy because this person's not in therapy true story all right what's this ten of pentacles reason for the reading <laughs> reason for the story what's this ten of pentacles and some of you this could actually be about a father figure rather than a lover and you could just be like i have to leave this i have to take my branch from my family tree and go plant it somewhere else because I don't even want to know these people. What is this Ten of Pentacles, the reason for the reading? What is this? Virgo energy. What is this? And the Nine of Swords reverse. You're just done with this. Uh, you're tired. You're tired of trying to be somebody this person could tolerate. Not love. I don't know if this person can love anyone but themselves. I don't even know if they even love themselves. But the Knight of Swords reverse is just tired of trying to please everybody. When you're trying to please everybody, you're pleasing nobody and you're especially not pleasing yourself. But it's just, it, it's chaos. It's just chaos to the nth degree. And what you're focusing now is saying, you know what? Me, people pleasing has served me no good. It's not giving me any brownie points over there. This person's still an asshole. I'm still leaving an unhappy home. So what is this now for me? Ten of Pentacles. This is this is the only thing I can I can actually control in this situation is who I want to be and, and what I want to do and who I want to become. And I really think that's where you're at. Okay, what is the sun in the past for Pisces? What's the sun in the past? What's the sun in the past, Leo energy? What's the sun? The sun, the sun, the sun. And the nine of the Pisces, why are your cards reverse? I mean, this is drained. This is when somebody has literally drained the life out of you. Nine of Cups reverse. And who I feel did it was this King of Swords reverse. Somebody who doesn't give an ounce, but they take a mile, right? They'll take a pound and they don't even give an ounce in return. And the sun is against all hope. You, you still have this fire within you. You still have this hope for something better. You still have even hope for new love. And that is the miracle in this story is that the, whoever this is, they didn't, they didn't fundamentally change who you are. I think they tried. I think they tried to tear you down many times, but you always stood up stronger and taller. And these kind of energies don't really like that. 
they don't like people fighting back. They just they just want to steamroll over people. And I feel like I don't know necessarily if you're fighting back, but you you got out of there. But this Wheel of Fortune reverses, this energy is like an entity on your readings. I swear. Okay, what is this Hermit Reverse, Virgo? It's funny, we have Virgo and Virgo, Pisces and Pisces, and then the Capricorn here. Okay, what is this Hermit Reverse on your mind? What is this Hermit Reverse on your mind? The Hermit Reverse. You know what this Hierophant, honestly, when I talked about therapy, the Hierophant could be a therapist. And this person looks like they need some therapy. Seriously, look, it's pro this person's probably like 27 years old and they look like they're 180. I mean, it's it's talking about when life gets too uh, much. Okay, what is this? The Hermit Reverse on Pisces Mind. Hermit Reverse. What is that? And it's the page. Oh, jeez, that page of cups is haunting us. Pisces, look at I even brought you a fish. Come on, Pisces, talk to me. You said I don't give you anything. Here, I'm giving you something you don't even want. Just so you can throw back in my face. So they could play victim mode. Uh, this person, yeah, 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 page of cups. Okay, if that is not, although I do feel like they're still trying, they're, they they want to talk to you. They they are trying, when, they say, when I say talk to you, I feel like it's more emotional blackmail you, but it's still some type of communication. But you know, that's your card, upright. I, I, again, just like what I felt back here with this nine of cups, reverse and sun, you still have hope with alive within you. You still have a fire burn within you. You know you got screwed in the situation, but you also know that somebody out there is is meant for you. You know that, Pisces. It's just not this. And that's why you're not letting this get the best of you. You're really not. Okay. Tell me about, give me another card. What is this page of cups for on Pisces mind? What's the page of cups on Pisces mind in the hermit reverse? You know what that reminds me of though? And the Ace of Swords reverse, it's a hell no. This reminds me, the Hermit reverse, as soon as, okay, maybe you're in ghost mode from this person. And as soon as they see you on social media, Pisces, oh, oh, look, Pisces commented, Pisces likes something, Pisces posts something, Pisces, hey, Pisces, remember me? That's what that reminds me of. They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to even get the, the attention in this reading. Pisces just like... Ooh, it's a no. Ace of Swords reverse. If you guys have a silent question out there and you're like, could this be? Ace of Swords upright is a yes. Ace of Swords reverse is a no. That is the, that's the card that's a yes and no in all of the 78 cards in tarot. Ace of Swords. And when that comes up, if always pay attention if it's reverse or upright. It's a reverse on this page of cups. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want their fish. You, you, there's just nothing about them that's real. And if they are bringing you something, there's probably strings attached. You've learned that by now, right? Speaking of strings attached, like I said, look at those. Looks like big yo-yos. All right. What is this? Two of pentacles in the near future. Capricorn energy for Pis my Pisceans. What's this about? What's the two of pentacles in the near future? Two of pentacles in the near future. Two of pentacles in the near future. It is, it's you, it's the hangman. You're just hanging loose. Got your balance back, You're neither here nor there. See the number four he makes with his legs? It's stability. You found your stability. You found your cornerstone and, and, and you're not letting that go. You're not giving that energy up. You're not, I, I, I really feel, even though it was a hermit reverse on your mind, I still feel like you're protecting your energy. I don't, I mean, you're, you're probably not living it up these days, but with the two of pentacles and the hangman, yeah, you're just, you're doing you right now and you're, it's feeling good. What is, what's going on with Pisces in the near future? What's going on with them? What's going on with them? Why is it the hang? Oh my gosh. Look at what came up. The high priestess wanted to show her face. Oh, so many cards fell and all I see is the high priestess staring at me and below that, not too far is this damn seven of swords with his page of cups trying to get away trying to sneak back in right and you're just like three of pentacles reverse strength reverse i don't have the energy to deal with your shit anymore oh and we got another one what's that what's hidden and the page of swords yeah they're still watching over here they're like yeah pisces just commented why is it in pisces liking anything 
because Pisces doesn't want Pis Pisces is off the crazy bus. They really are. Speaking of six of swords and the fool and the lovers reverse and the five of pentacles reverse. You're just over this. You're really over this. And they're not. You're over them and they're still stuck on you. It's like Lionel Richie over here. They're stuck on you. And I have a lot of cards on the floor. This is where I will wrap up your reading. <laughs> <laughs> this is but yeah Pisces I I just think you're staying silent I think you're holding back you're not talking to this person I don't even know if you're talking to a whole lot of people right now if this page of swords is you I just feel like this is you on the brink of a brand new life this is you maybe studying about something new maybe some of you are learning tarot you know you're learning new things you you just you're on you're just on a new path right and you have hope for new love. You have hope for something great in the future. And if it's not now, it's not now. You're just, you're really valuing your peace of mind right now. Five of Pentacles reversed. You're never going to allow somebody to ever make you feel not good enough again. That I could tell you that. That's, that's I mean, you, you have come with your own price tag these days and it's priceless. You're not letting some loser sit there and tell you who you're worth or who you're not worth by... If they're allowed, if, if they want to spend time with you, I feel like when you try to connect with this person, they put everybody in front of you. And now that you have something good going on, I do feel like it's something with work around work and my, it's doing better or it's about to do better. This 10 of pentacles looks really good to them and they kind of want a piece of it. They more than kind of want a piece of it. So be wary of the seven of swords and king of swords reverse. So whatever's in this cup of whatever is in this cup, it's insanity. It, I guarantee you, it's insanity. It's not just the fish. The fish is covering the insanity they're trying to bring you back into. All right, my Pisceans, that is what I have for you. I may or may not see you this weekend, but if not, you guys are stuck with me next week. I'll see you next week, cutie pies. All right, have a great night. Take care.